Bringing a Staffordshire Bull Terrier into your home is a big decision and one that you should take absolutely seriously. And in today's video, I'm gonna hand you over to my breed expert who's gonna break down three things that you need to be thinking about before considering bringing a Staffordshire Bull Terrier into your home. Number one, they are highly energetic. Despite a well-founded reputation for being absolute cuddle monsters and masters of napping, Staffies are anything but low energy. Do not be fooled by their snoring at the end of a long day. They are ready to jump into action at the drop of a hat. Famed for their truly sensational periods of zoomies and their indomitable spirit of fun, these dogs are not for anyone who likes to sit down with some TV and snacks for a few hours after a long day out at work. They will need on average about two hours of quite intense exercise every single day as adults, adjusting of course for puppies and senior dogs, coupled with structured walks, training and ongoing socialisation, as well as ideally some kind of independent work to be getting on with. Whilst they have wonderful temperaments typically, they are still prone to frustration based misbehaviour when their physical and cognitive needs have not been met not to mention their quite significant emotional and companionship needs. And so, if you want to bring one into your life, you will need to be prepared to dedicate a huge portion of your day to them every single day. Number two, they have BSL-related bias against them. Despite not being a restricted breed in any way, Staffies are nevertheless victims of their beauty. Their muscular, if compact, frames and the jaws that are huge enough to plaster their enormous smiles onto come with downsides. They make Staffies difficult to distinguish from the band Pitbull and the American Bully, who is gaining an unfair reputation itself due to irresponsible ownership recently, and as such are tarred with the same brush. This might seem inconsequential when you recognise that Staffies are far too small ever to be seized by the police as a Pitbull type dog, but that's the purebreds. Any staffy crossed with a larger breed instantly looks quite pity-like and may be seized on these grounds alone. What's more, in 2018, Peter attempted, unsuccessfully thank goodness, to have staffies added to the list of banned breeds, joining the Tosa, the Dogo, the Fila and the Pity. What this means for you as a prospective owner is that you need to commit to being an advocate for your dog and an exemplary owner of a model dog so that the confusion can stop at looks alone. It is a responsibility that many are not thick skinned enough to take on, so ask yourself if you can, especially when your own friends and family might have been indoctrinated by the stigma against your dog before you even bring it home. And number three, they live long and prosper. The final thing to bear in mind is good news, probably. Staffies have a wonderfully long life expectancy of 12 to 16 years on average, with many reaching 20 and most retaining their spirit and some degree of fitness until their dying days. This is a treat for anyone who loves a Staffie, but it also presents the possibility of being a burden. As Uncle Ben might have said if Peter Parker had got a Staffie rather than a radioactive spider bite, with great life expectancy comes great responsibility. When you commit to bringing home a Staffy puppy or even adopting an adult Staffy from a shelter, you are committing to meeting its needs for 15 years plus. If you're financially unstable or in a tumultuous relationship or have any degree of wanderlust, please try to factor in how much can change in a decade or two. How is your Staffy going to cope when you can't afford to feed her? or when she loses one of her parents, or when you decide to move house again. They're adaptable, but they're also sensitive and deserve a forever home. There are far too many staffies in rescue centres up and down the country, not to mention the wonderful senior staffie club which specialises in older staffies full of these wonderful dogs, submitted into the shelter because someone can't commit to dealing with a handful of a dog for so many years. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you love the Staffordshire Bull Terrier as much as I do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, because we can't wait to see you here on the next episode.